The Hydrocephalus Association is a nonprofit organization providing support, education, and advocacy for people whose lives have been touched by hydrocephalus. And on Sunday, September 29th, the group held their first ever Greater Los Angeles Walk at Exposition Park. We're here to uh, try and raise awareness for hydrocephalus. We have about 42 people in our team. I'm a very big part of it because my nephew actually has it. So I got a bunch of my friends just to do it with me. It's very important because there's a lot of people that are not aware of the cost. And it's very important for me as a mother to make awareness for other people that don't know about it. Jennifer Pope spends much of her time as the King's Director of Community Relations, spearheading ways for the organization to help those in need. But this past year has found her getting involved in an important cause in a much different way. My son was diagnosed with hydrocephalus. We went for his six month checkup and his head measured a little bit larger than it should have. So our doctor sent us for an ultrasound. Um, and by the time we got home from the ultrasound, it confirmed that he did have water on his brain and uh, we had to get right to Children's Hospital. At 14 months old, Charlie has already endured many trips to the doctor, as well as three brain surgeries. The most common treatment for um, hydrocephalus, it's called a shunt. So it's a tube that gets inserted into your brain that connects to another tube that goes over your chest into your belly, and that's where the water drains. The problem is the shunts fail 50% of the time um, in the first two years. So some kids have one surgery, some kids have 100 surgeries. You just don't know. Every day, literally, it can change. The first surgery on January 25th was to put the shunt in place. But shortly after, a cyst was found to be causing a blockage. Surgery was needed again. So Dr. Gordon McComb of Children's Hospital of Los Angeles decided to also try a procedure called ETV, which involves closing off the shunt and making two openings in the third ventricle of the brain to force the fluid to drain there, thus eliminating the need for the shunt. However, his body could not absorb enough of the excess fluid, so Charlie had a third and hopefully final surgery to reopen the shunt. Jennifer credits many in the King's organization for their support of her family through this difficult time. When Charlie was diagnosed, no one even questioned me not being in the office. I said take as much time as you needed and everyone was so supportive and really stepped up to help my department in whatever whatever I couldn't do. And we've raised just in our team alone over 31,000. The players and, and their wives and girlfriends, they've been such a tremendous support staff. They sent food to the hospital, they would have food when we got home. Charlie would get presents every day, left and right. The kid has more toys than, than uh, anyone I know. I can't even just say how much they, they've meant and how helpful they've been through this whole process to my husband and myself. True to form, many of the Kings players were in attendance for the 5K walk to end hydrocephalus. Well, I think it just shows uh, how much Matt and Jen mean to, mean to us and, um, you know, and vice versa. We all do things together. Um, we are a family. It doesn't matter if, if you're a player or a coach or you know you work for the team in some capacity. You're, yeah, you know, we're all we're all in this together. Whether it's family, friends, you know, it's better that way, and that's the way it should be. And uh, you know, it's just great to support them. I think that we have uh, an obligation as, as you know athletes to uh, give back to the community, and uh, you know, this is just one avenue that we can do it. And obviously, everything that Jen's gone through with Charlie and, uh, and things like that. So you know, just trying to trying to come out here and help her out and help help Charlie and help raise awareness and, uh, and uh, hopefully find a cure. We just want to bring awareness to the cause, let people know about it. You know, the shunt was invented by a father. So um, for it to be the highest failing medical device out there, there has to be a better way to do this. So that is what I'm determined to do. That's why Charlie was diagnosed with this, because we're going to fix it.